I don't know where it's come from. I have to go and get these things to surround myself with them. I, I know that I feel better when I'm surrounded by natural things. I'm not sure how I select some and not others. I, I obviously have got a selection process, otherwise I would be buried in sticks and leaves and stones. <laughs> Anything round or with rust? <laughs> um, or rust colours or autumn colours is going to make me look at it. If I get a stick which looks like something or with good bark or good rot, and it's decayed or been worn down, say, if it's been in a river or a, the sea or something. Yeah, I think I'm, I, I am drawn to a contrasting kind of natural and unnatural things. The rusty washer in the middle of nowhere in the Central American jungle. <laughs> Which is a prize find. I think I notice these things because I'm foraging. I do feel like I, I'm foraging. I think it's a bit of a, a hunter-gatherer instinct gone awry. I, I think it's recycling, really, at the end of the day. If something's lying there and it's useful and no one's using it, I think it should be used. I suppose in a very strange way. I almost feel like I bond to a particular thing and then I can't let go of it because I've got some kind of attachment to it. If I pick up a handful of stones and see one that's a bit different, I'll straight away form some kind of bond with the stone and not be able to put it back because I'll feel... It's a bit like guilt if I put it back and then go. Or abandonment or something. I've left something that's dead important behind. <laughs> um, I don't know many people actually that keep purposely keep bugs in the kitchen. Like a little ecosystem on my kitchen worktop. <laughs> hasn't actually occurred to me as a bit of an odd thing to do till now. <laughs> mm. My field is dead things. And even the mammal group think I'm a bit strange. Because they leave their... their finds where they find them. <laughs> There's not many that, that take the dead things home. But because they know that I like dead things, if anyone finds any dead thing, then it gets brought to me and I get to keep it because no one else wants it, <laughs> which is good. There's other people who are, in my opinion, stranger than me. I don't think it's a specifically like dead things, it's just that because they are effectively live things that have stopped, I can study live things without them wiggling around. It's funny because sometimes I even, when I see the ferrets running around, I think, oh my God, it's all these little things like whirring away inside them like little clockwork toys or something. They've got all the little bones and all the little, everything that we've got pretty much and more. It's funny thinking about all the, everything going. I'd go mad without them. I'm so bored and my attention span is so short that I need something to be running around and entertain me. He's so interested in everything. He seems like he's intrigued by everything and then when he actually finds out about anything by exploring it with his little nose and his whiskers and his feet, it seems like the intrigue is justified because he's discovered that it is actually brilliant. He's uncovered like a whole new world that I'll never know.